I'm Matt Hoffman. Uh, this is uh, my poster about online learning for latent Dirichlet allocation. Um, so latent Dirichlet allocation, or LDA, is a uh, probabilistic topic model. The, uh, the idea is that you give it uh, a bunch, is that it explains the variation in document word counts in terms of a set of latent topic, uh, topics, which are distributions over the vocabulary. Um, basically, the idea is that the words that have high probability in a topic uh, should have something to do with each other, so they might be like uh, building, construction, concrete, or um, uh, school, education, university, that sort of thing. Um, and uh, so these, uh, so uh, LDA and topic models in general are very good at summarizing the latent structure in large corpora of documents, but um, they can be quite expensive to fit to very large corpora of documents, uh, which is unfortunate because what we'd really like is to be able to uh, analyze millions and millions of documents automatically using these, uh, using these models. Um, but even the, the fastest methods, which are uh, generally agreed to be these variational Bayesian methods uh, for fitting these models, are still linear in the number of documents being analyzed. And so, uh, so that can be quite expensive if you have millions of documents. So what this, what this work is about is uh, basically developing an algorithm for fitting a uh, variational approximate posterior, uh, doing approximate posterior inference using variational Bayes to, um, to large corpora of documents in a way that, uh, doesn't, that only looks at a small subset of documents at a time uh, and as a result is able to make progress much, much faster than, um, than, uh, the, than corresponding batch methods which in turn tend to be much faster than, uh, than Markov chain Monte Carlo methods or, uh, or other approaches. Um, and uh, so I won't go into too much detail uh, as far as the technical stuff, but it turns out that, um, that we're actually able to come up with an algorithm uh, that is very that requires basically no additional work once you've gotten a uh, working batch implementation. Uh, it's uh, sort of a, a very, very small modification, um, but uh, it winds up actually being uh, really very dramatically faster than the corresponding batch algorithm. So uh, for example, in this, uh, in this plot, we're fitting LDA to, uh, to Wikipedia articles. And um, this red line here is the batch algorithm fit to a subset of just uh, about 100,000 documents, um, which is about 3% of the total data. And even though it's only looking at 3% of the total data, it's still um, around an order of magnitude, maybe a little more. Uh, slower to converge than the online method that's looking at all of the uh, that's looking at all the documents, um, and uh, ultimately finds a solution that's a little bit better. Um, and uh, so uh, there's um, uh, we have some uh, some Python code available uh, at my website uh, www.cs.princeton.edu tilde m d h o f f m a, um, and uh, also. Uh, we have an implementation in uh, the Valpo Wabbit framework uh, by John Langford in C++ um, that you can find on his website uh, hunch.net. Um, and that uh, so if you're if you're interested in reading in looking at the code and understanding how it works, I recommend the Python code. Sorry about that. Uh, and if you're interested in uh, just running something that's really really fast and can analyze uh, about a million documents an hour on a single core. Of, uh, desktop computer, then I recommend the, the Valpo Wabbit implementation. Um, and uh, that's, that's it. Thanks.